So now here's an on off file breakdown. On off valve is very amazing. Let's start first with the body. So the body is a generic valve symbol that is shown. Then you have two limit switches here, which is shown. Then you'll have the actuator to it. Now this entire assembly is connected together and then you would need an air supply for the valve to work. So here's our solenoid valve with the instrument air given. Now let us try to understand that usually a solenoid valve has to be named. So we put an XY there for the solenoid valve and for limit switches, usually it is X S H or sometimes the H in the end stands for high and L stands for low. Sometimes it is open. So it stands for O and C stands for close. Then the next thing you would have is and control system operator is sitting in his cabin. Now he would give you the first signal, which is called as usually HS. So it's a switch that he presses a soft switch on the control system and that would activate the solenoid and whatever is the functioning would happen. And then these two limit switches are usually having control signal sent to the control system. So these two signals will then let the operator know that the valve has functioned as it was indicated. So it's kind of like a feedback going to your operator that whatever function was intended that has been happening. Let's try to quickly understand the proper logic of how this valve is working and especially the de-energizing path. So first thing is let's quickly revise. So here's our instrument air supply. Then we have the solenoid valve. What type of solenoid valve is this? This is a three way solenoid valve. Then you have a pneumatic signal to it that goes to your actuator. Then you have a hand wheel which could be missed. Here's a body and the limit switches there. Now let us have this hand switch as we saw the operator is pressing the hand switch and here's the solenoid which is active. Once the solenoid is active, the instrument air supply will go to your actuator, which will actu actuate the valve. So for our example, let us say it opens the valve. Then the limit switches would eventually show the operator that the valve has opened. Now the confusion is after I close the solenoid. So now the solenoid is no longer active. So this air here is stuck, right? Because now solenoid will close. Then what should happen? So in that case, whatever air is stuck here, that would get closed here and then there is no path for it to go. So do you see the small symbol here? This is the de-energized path symbol. So whenever the solenoid is not active, it will then allow the air to get released from here so that the valve can again go back to its position and the air which is got stuck can be removed out. So it can get back to its closed position, for example. Now, this same signal once the valve has gone back to its position will then be indicated to the operator at the control system that okay the valve is now at its closed state one more thing to note here is sometimes below the valve some terms are written like fc tso so fc is basically fail close or fail open the failure action and tso is also very important it stands for tight shut off this video is part of the master class on udemy called as how to learn pnid in a brand new way i think you would find it super valuable the link is given in the pinned comment and in the description till then happy learning take care